10, we told you the concrete used by Habijacks may have been overwatered and it lacked compaction, which is, we're told, fundamental for a good foundation. 85 homes were built back in 2000. Habijacks built them in 17 days with the help of 10,000 volunteers. So far, we have seen countless reports showing the homes were built on part of an old landfill. Channel 4's Francesca Annemarker joining us now after walking through one of these homes with an inspector. Fran, he hadn't seen or heard any of this until you contacted him. That's right. He hasn't seen anything. He doesn't know anything about this story until I gave him the reports that I received from the Jacksonville Housing Authority. I really wanted that third party, that unbiased opinion. This is just a look at the 85 homes, many of them suffering from the problems that you're about to find out from this report. And I just want to go ahead and go ahead and mention to you that many, uh, every single homeowner who lives at Fairway Oaks, they pay mortgages. In fact, they're on a 25-year mortgage program. And this is why they deserve justice, because they're their homes are just as important as you and I. You've already got some pretty major issues. So let me kind of see what we th I think we got going on. I want to start and take some floor elevations. That was just the first step in what will be a process as William Chandler of Property 360 LLC determines what went wrong during the construction of this Fairway Oaks home. In just a few hours, one of Florida's top building inspectors was able to narrow down the cause of problems that have been above the surface for dozens of Fairway Oaks homeowners since the homes were built by Habijack 16 years ago. We learned those issues are going up or down, depending on how you look at it. Where that's lower, that's lower. This is actually a little higher. So this may have been more equal to original elevation. After learning Miss Mixon's home has lowered an inch and a half since it was built, Chandler took a look at her concrete. Though he still has to send pieces to a lab, he says the mixture was poorly compacted. And it doesn't make it any better the homes were built on unsuitable soil. Though unsuitable for humans, William says it is suitable for termites. Ones that were found with the help of this heat camera that detected elevated thermal levels in the wall. One thing about having poorly compacted soils under your slab is that's a perfect place for them to nest. So now we have a termite problem. Probably ants is up under here. Everything is up under the foundation, eating away, deteriorating the foundation. Well, the termites are, is, are nesting under the slab. And this is not going to happen. Even if I got the, um, someone to come out here, take care of the termite problem, a couple of years, I'm back in the same boat. Maybe sooner. Right now, it's Chandler's belief that any fix to homes like Miss Mixon's will only be temporary. He says the solution would have been to never build these homes in the first place. You get it looking pretty, but you still got this. And I would have to disclose this Absolutely. to whoever well interested in it. Because otherwise, as soon as they find out, they're, you're giving their money back. But why wasn't I given the same justice? That Why I wasn't answer. I given the same thing through Habitats and the city? We should have known that this trash was here. We should have known that the foundation was not good. I, I agree. What? You can hear the frustration in Miss Mixon's voice. It really seems like a cycle here in Habijax. Again, they're not commenting, but I will be uh, emailing Habijax and calling them tomorrow, as well as Councilwoman Katrina Brown, who was working with these folks and the mayor for a comment earlier, or excuse me, last week. I know the mayor did refer us back to Habijax, but after seeing this report and having a third party investigate with us and inspect with us, we will be reaching back out to the mayor and the Councilwoman Katrina Brown to see if they have comment on these reports. For now, reporting live from Chesky Amaker Channel 4, the local station.